MMB, MMB, MMB. One big chunk of steel. The MMB Monostahl. It's, it's a little bit light today. Yeah? This is something that we have not tested before, Mickey. This is a knife and the, the handle and this, the knife, the blade itself, are one big chunk of steel. Like one and all the same steel. So this should be like the most indestructible EDC knife, fixed knife that you can carry, probably. But it's a little bit expensive for this type of steel. So we'll see if it's good or maybe not. The story of this knife is that it was indestructible and my god, our friend Richard at Tools for Gents, he tried to destroy it. He was so blown away by the indestructibleness of this knife that he said we had to try it in our destruction test. Our, we, DPK, our destruction test. So he sent us the knife, the MMB Monostal knife with 420 st steel. Controversial because some love it and some hate it. Yes, it withstands other people's destruction test. But can it withstand ours? N can it? Huh? <laughs> Hey, this episode is sponsored by Rich Wallet. Hey, come on guys, don't, don't be this guy. Don't be this, this guy with the huge bolts. Martin, get the bolts down. Be this guy. Rich Wallet. It's time to be more stylish and get yourself a damn Rich Wallet. These big pesky things are a thing of the past and you know it. Now, people cannot even secretly scam you through your pocket because you will now be protected by the casing. Multiple options are available, but ours is a pattern welded steel version. High quality for all the minimalist lovers out there. Yeah, Martin is one. <laughs> I'm a minimalist. Just click the link in our description and get a good discount with code DPK Tiny Bulge because that tiny bulge is what you want. <coughs> I've always had a small bulge. But even for our small bulge, guys, we gotta stick together and get this product. Power to the small bulge! Bridge Wallet. DBK approved. Yeah. One thing I know for certain is there's not the knife you wanna take to the Arctic, you know? Yeah, with your hand freezing yeah, up yeah, in yeah. one and a half seconds. I think, or uh, your hand becomes the knife, or the knife becomes your hand. Yeah, you know, nice. it's stuck forever. We don't have a baton. Well, <laughs> we, Mick said, okay, go stand here, re ready the wood with the baton, and then, uh, you know, make the shot. Then I thought to myself, we don't have a baton anymore, <laughs> we we're broken. <laughs> it's a good test for this knife because it. It asks for a little bit of hard use. So I can already say one thing about this knife. It's, uh, it feels a little bit like a, a knife without a handle, you know? So it's not the most comfortable in the end. Yeah, but it also has a convex. Yeah, but that is good. It, it really slices through the wood. It's done. Quick baton. Hit it, hit it, hit it. What? Stoot gewoon been. Stoot je been. Ja, wat tegen deze pal. <laughs> Boom. Easy, but the, the blade is short, so that's gonna be its downside. I Time think to grab some harder wood, maybe. Mickey, I just wanna see real quick how it feather sticks, yeah? Before we're gonna destroy it. Does an all right job. Also because the handle is, you know, not the most ergonomic for stuff like this. Well, what's the purpose of that hole? You can actually use a screwdriver in it, the screwdriver bit. So you can put it in the sheath and then you can use the thing as a, as a bloody screwdriver. Oh! So as an EDC tool, I think that's pretty neat. You know, because this is of, of course meant to be an EDC knife. Yeah. Ready? Yeah.
it actually didn't like crack it open. It sliced through this whole piece. Do you see that? Yeah, whoa! <laughs> Tools for gents, this is a real destruction test. Yeah. They tried this too, I think. Oh. But I want to see it. Visiting an old friend of mine. <laughs> Visiting an old friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> hey! Hey! I made a sheath! <laughs> a screwdriver! <laughs> um, yeah! Now we have to get it out! But it is, is how we do it! <laughs> oh, yo, look at this. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a child surprise egg. You yeah. Open it and there's a surprise inside. <laughs> what the hell? Just a little tip test. But. Okay. Oh man, I'm scared to do that. Nothing. What's next? What can we do? Grab out the hammer. Okay, we broke yet another knife with our supposedly stupid destruction test. Sadly, the audio was not recorded here, but we did not feel good about it at all. No, not even a little bit, because obviously a knife can be good without surviving a strike of a hammer. However, we don't do this hammer test for nothing. We've done it with the Bussy Infi Steel Knife, the CPK Delta 3V Knife, the Yakari Puko, and you know what, even a $10 Mora. However, we felt something was wrong, but our first theory was that this probably happened because the knife is a stainless steel knife, which contains a lot of chrome. And chrome makes a knife steel more brittle. Let me sum up some facts. <laughs> oh no! Oh this, no! This is, I think, the fourth knife that we, te that we tested that was sent out to us by Two for Gents. Yeah. And we broke three of those. Yeah. Does that make us assholes? Uh, well, everybody already knew that we are idiots. You know, it broke on the second hit quickly. Very. Uh, yeah. we, we have done knives that 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 lasted much longer. Can I can I see the the steel? We want to demonstrate something because one knife that actually withstood the hammer testing was a ten dollar Mora. Ten, yeah. Ten dollar Mora. But it was carbon. Carbon. Now we've got like the same Mora, exactly the same Mora here, which is. Uh, stainless. stainless and I think I, I will almost bet my money on it that this knife wait wait because I have to turn my back that this knife <laughs> this knife will break let me get yeah. a nice little only shower. thing is Mickey is that this knife that's also a thing this knife doesn't have any soft material to resonate in yeah yeah speculating 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 but then this happened Okay, okay. Whoa. So what does that say, Nicky? <laughs> that uh, 12C27 is actually a, a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, this really did not sit well with us because even though a knife does not have to withstand a blow from a hammer to be good, something just did not feel right in this case. So we contacted the knife maker who was... A 
surprisingly shocked as well and started testing himself too. And my little droogies, he found out the answer all right. Because he sent us this video just a few days ago after fixing the problem. The problem was the heat treatment. Apparently the company who had been doing his heat treatment had been making his knives too hard, harder than he actually wanted himself. And because of this amazingly great and profound hammer test, he found out and could correct it. Now this beast is indestructible as he proves in his hammering with an even bigger hammer. Man, someone always has got a bigger hammer than you. Note that we only found out after shooting the video, so keep that in mind from now on. I still have to make a fire for this with this knife, which is actually this is left. So I can't baton, I can't make small little woods. So I have to uh, profit from all the little yeah, pieces of wood that Mark has snapped off while making the baton. And then the key element is a new way of fire making. Ecological friendly fuel tablet. Yeah, which uh, smells like chloride, but nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs> and yet no chemicals. If you're nil, you just make a line in it and then you can break it like that. Boom. Which is very handy because you don't need this whole thing, but everyone can pack one of these. And we're very lucky because it has been very dry the past couple of days. This is the first day that everything is dry. So you might be wondering, why do you need that fire? Well, we're gonna cook something. Some crocodile meat. Well, cannot scrape a fire steel with this. Oh, can a little bit. So I have to do it with the edge. Okay, so the fuel tablet only ignites with a flame. So I think you're gonna need some uh, magnesium scrapings on that first. So I'm just gonna put some scrapings on here with this. Not able to scrape the fire steel. Whoa! Oh! Okay. Okay. Whoa! That was... But did you see how, how little of this stuff you needed for this? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna put this whole thing next to it. So, that is so... Martin, that is a big game changer, isn't it? That is... You know, every, I think you would need this in every survival kit. Yeah, whoa! So, daar ben ik echt heel erg van onder de indruk. Well, let me see how easy it is now then. Martin, what is this? This is uh, crocodile meat. Oh my god. I don't know how, what, what the deal is with the people in America, but this is not that common here in Europe. No. I don't think I have ever met anyone who've, who has eaten crocodile meat. You know, I don't think we have crocodiles in Europe at all, so... No. Yeah, the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> my plan is to cook a salad with, and then at the end throw in that crocodile meat. Okay, so the extra proteins, which ripped guys like us need. Okay, so should we like throw some crocodile meat on the TGM grill? Yep, and they do. Okay, let's grab it. It's still meat. Are we going to cook it all? Oh uh, yeah, let's cook a, a good portion of it. It, lo it looks like fish. Yeah. But it, it does not really have the structure of fish. We're gonna make a little Greek salad. Martin never tasted my Greek salad, but Martin actually, that is what I eat nowadays. That Greek salad. Okay. And I love it. That's I your love thing. It. It's the Gordon Ramsay technique. <laughs> I like Gordon Ramsay technique. It's a shame that this knife broke because even without the handle I could feel that this knife was excellent at fruit prepping because of the small convex grind that it has. We also told the maker that the spine couldn't scrape a fire steel that well and then he adjusted that and we are happy to say that that has been fixed.
Is niet geweldig. Let's say you're 7 out of 10. For the herbs, because we Dutchies, we love the herbs. <laughs> so first, to make it really unhealthy, we're going to put a whole lot of olive oil in it. And when I say a whole lot... Oh, that is a whole lot. I mean a whole lot. That is a whole lot. Red wine vinegar. It's going to make the me trick drunk. Is, the trick is not too much, not too much. Some pepper. A whole lot of pepper. He's, st he's still going. Okay. A whole lot of salt. That is a lot. That is a lot. People don't use enough spices. A little petersilie, I don't know what that name is. Jeez! In, uh, the, yeah, normally I would put fresh uh, petersilie in this. A little salty. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you put like half the ocean in there. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Oh, that's so zeer. <laughs> no. Mickey, should, should we add the crocodile in there? Well, let's first taste the crocodile before okay. we start ruining my precious salad. A little bit of salt. Not the Mickey amount. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Mm. How do you describe this? The texture is Dry. even... Yeah, it's dry, but the texture is somewhere between, you know, fish and chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it really is a, yeah, it's the perfect combination of fish and chicken. Yeah. But does it have a lot of taste to it? I would say no. So yeah. Give this a great, this is not going in the salad though, I can tell you that. Okay. But I'm gonna grade this six out of 10. Yeah, me too, six out of 10. It's not terrible, it's not great. Hmm, yeah, that says it all. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's good. That is good. What would you grade it? It's not even too salty, actually. No, it's pretty okay. Mm. Let me compare with the chicken and with the crocodile. Yeah, it's better. It's better. <laughs> As a salad. Give this an eight out of ten. Whoa, Martin! It's good. It's really good. You know, I'm not. I gotta say, I'm not actually really salad kind of guy. Rust. Mickey, 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 Mickey. So this what? is this is a strange video. It's, I think it's a strange yeah, video. I, th I think so too. You know, and, uh, and we have been breaking a lot of knives recently. Yeah, and a lot of them keep ending up in our giveaway. Hey, right. we are giving away the CPK field knife in Delta 3V. We are also giving away the MMB Mono Style. Thanks to Tools for Gents, this knife is one piece of steel. We are giving away the Falkneven F1 Pro. And we are giving away the Falkneven A1 Pro. Two amazing knives. To top it all off, we are also giving away the CVV Ripple Flipper. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it is, uh, it is troubling because, yeah, it. it Seems to look bad because a ten dollar knife could withstand the hammer test. Yeah. This knife couldn't. But I have to say, in my opinion, that does not make a knife very good or very bad no. because uh, you would never hit your knife with a hammer. When we hit it with wood on it, yeah. in wood, yeah. you know the the vibrations have a way to have somewhere to go. Yeah. I mean, the knife did amazingly in that test. You know, yeah. Richie split it through, or Tools for Gen split it through the wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we split it through the wood. We yeah. hammered it right into the wood. It didn't yeah. give a shit. And only when we hit the hammer on this, yeah. it immediately broke. So I think our videos are crash tests. Yeah. 
So just like you have with a car, we just look how far can you push a knife? Yeah. You know, I think it's a very cool idea to have this knife in one solid piece of steel. Yeah. It's unique. I like the fact that they put a screwdriver in the back. I mean, yeah, 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 as yeah. an EDC blade, you know, that's really handy to have because yeah. a screwdriver is just something that, that you probably need the most out of your most EDC, EDC stuff. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit heavy, but and it's a little bit expensive, I yeah, think, for the steel used. But on the other hand, it's a unique concept, it's a unique thing. So it kind of justifies it, but it still is, you know, a lot of money for this steel. For us too, I think this is kind of a, a new experience, seeing yeah. this. And you now we're gonna see how that in the future works out with other knives maybe that have the same kind of construction. Yeah, and uh, crocodile meat, uh, no. Uh, no. That's a no. big no, no. Watch us every Thursday, 1 p.m. PDT. Check out our Instagram, check out our web shop. Very soon, we will restock almost everything in the shop. I thought we were going to say it for the first time. Yeah, but very soon. <laughs>